Hi friends, welcome to the Share, Invite, and Proclaim channel. My name is Judy. I am uh, also giving uh, simple Bible stories to those who are new Christians who uh, did not grow up in the church. They don't know these uh, stories from Scripture, and sometimes they might hear them in a reference and and really, you know, long-term Christians know what they know the stories, and so they know what what's going on and so the story today is about the Tower of Babel <clears throat> have you ever wondered why there are so many languages in the world well the Bible gives us an answer in Genesis chapter 11 the first nine verses the setting of the story is the city of Babel which is inside the city of Babylon um, which today is in Iraq um, well, what were the people doing? Oh, they were making bricks uh, and made their city, and then they made a tower. But what was the purpose of this tower? Uh, it was to reach the heavens, to make a name for ourselves. Sort of like our city is better than your city. Uh, they didn't want to spread out over the entire earth like they were supposed to, like God had told Noah uh, for him and his descendants to fill the earth. Um, God made a covenant with Noah. The rainbow would remind God not to destroy the earth by uh, water. And God told uh, Noah to fill the earth and uh, be fruitful and multiply. So the attitude of these people at Babel was pretty much one of pride and superiority. We'll see how that worked for them. <clears throat> well, Scripture says that God came from heaven uh, to look at the city and the tower and said, uh, Behold, they are one people and they all have the same language. And this is what they began to do. And now nothing which they purpose to do will be impossible for them. You know, future empires had this attitude, this desire for power to control the world and its people. So attitudes of pride, superiority, control, power, these were the, the kinds of things that developed in these kinds of empires. So what did God do? The Trinity shows up. Us, in verse 7 of chapter 11, the Trinity confused their language so that they could understand one another. Secondly, God scattered the people over the entire face of the whole earth like he had intended it. God's plan was for man to be to repopulate the earth, not build empires, because pride creeps in with empires. Well, what was the first language? Some say Hebrew, some say Sumerian. Um, Sumerian was the language of Mesopotamia. But it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> then as people began to spread, language groups developed. You know, what are we supposed to learn from this story? Well, words matter in any language. Words that promote selfishness, superiority, pride, etc. Those have consequences. Let's look at some of the examples of words that are dangerous. For example, in Proverbs 15, verse 1b says, A harsh word stirs up anger. Matthew 12, 36, Jesus told the Pharisees that every careless or useless word that men speak, they shall render an account for it in the day of judgment. Or Ephesians 4.29, let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word as is good for edification according to the need of the moment, that it may give grace to those in need. Or Ephesians 5.6, let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Words that edify or build up 
people are like Psalms 12, 6. The words of the Lord are pure words. Psalms 19, 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Or John 6, verse 68, Peter said of the Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Or Colossians 3, 16 and 17, let the word of Christ richly dwell within you with all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to him, to God the Father. Do I have any trouble believing this story of Babel? No, not really, because the desires of the people at Babel are like those today. Modern people build cities for fame or pride or power or empire building. In the past century, the race to see who could build the tallest structure has happened. Today, the tallest structure, the tallest building in the world is in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates at 2,717 feet. The race to claim the tallest building is still on uh, in Jeddah Tower, the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. It's under construction and expected to be 3,280 feet. Well, why is this story, the Tower of Babel in the, in the Bible? Well, God cares what happens to people. God sometimes intervenes when people go down the wrong path. God's covenant with Noah would be honored. Thanks for watching, and I pray that you will find a church where you hear about Jesus, who he was, who he is today, a small group Bible study where you can grow with other Christians in your faith. And remember uh, Romans 10, verses 9, verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Share that with other people who need to hear a word from the Lord. Subscribe so that you will be notified of uh, future videos. Thanks for watching.